All right, we're gonna take our maiden voyage, Brandywine Park. Let's do it. So you guys know that I'm pretty into cargo bikes and carrying kids on bikes. But since the birth of my daughter, Isabella, last month, it's really been on my mind a lot more. You're like a princess. You're in your chariot. You're being carried around. Not a bad deal. Don't worry, no babies were harmed in the filming of this. A couple years ago, I made a video talking about carrying kids by bike, but that video is a bit longer, so I wanted to just give it to you guys in just a really simple way to explain how to carry kids on a bike and the different options that are out there, because there are many. First, before we get too deep into the different options there, I should talk a little bit about the laws around it. There are uh, some, some different laws in different states throughout the country, in different countries, there's different laws. There's also different customs. For example, it could be quite common in the Netherlands to take your baby home from the hospital in a cargo bike. Now in the US, people might think that you're crazy. They might say it's child abuse. So the American Association of Pediatrics says 12 months and they reference uh, specifically wearing a helmet, how it's challenging for a child to wear a helmet under one years old. Their neck or their spine might not have such an easy time supporting it. And there's actually some different discussions about that of like whether it's good for a kid of a very young age to wear a helmet. And then there's a bunch of different information about vibrations and different things like that. And that's likely where some of the laws in the U.S. come from. But I think that they're probably also coming from this position of not knowing about different bikes that might exist that might be made specifically for carrying kids. That might be way safer than your stroller, for example, or perhaps even safer than your car seat. It's really about like where you're riding, how fast you're riding, the conditions of the roads, the type of bike that you're riding. So I think it's really important to talk about safety a little bit deeper because as a new parent, this is something you think about a lot. Make sure that you feel safe riding, you feel safe riding with your child, you feel safe with the equipment that you're using. I think it's worth it to put that effort in to try and maybe find that alternative route that's going to be a little bit safer. Take the longer route that's going to be safer but maybe more enjoyable. I feel pretty confident that children will remember these experiences, that they'll really value that. I don't have that many like really fond memories of sitting in the back of a, a car, but I have a lot of really fond memories like biking as a family. Maybe that's perhaps part of what like really excites me about being involved in this thing. It's important to think about where this information comes from and, and I really think that people need to make decisions for themselves. Let's try to be respectful of different people's decisions and know that generally speaking parents try to look out for the best safety and well-being of their children. That's my thing. We'll get into it and uh, hope you guys enjoy. So first let's start with the simplest format which is basically just adding a child seat to a bike. I think in America, this is probably what most people think about when carrying a child on a bike. In a lot of ways, this is what the American uh, Association of Pediatrics was probably thinking about as well. I imagine they weren't really considering the fact that cargo bikes and different things like that exist. They really haven't been that popular in the US up until recently and even still most people don't know about them. There aren't really too many seats that are made specifically for children under one. Most of the seats go on the back of the bike. There are some seats that go up by the handlebars. Those are the ones that generally you can put a, a smaller child. Oftentimes these seats are gonna be rated for 30 pounds or under. Personally, if I was gonna put a child on a bike under one, I'd prefer to put them inside of a car seat on a bike and really that starts to relegate you to like a smaller number of seats that would specifically work. So there's a lot of discussion about children's ability to hold their head up, ability to wear a helmet, some of these different sort of things. My general feeling is like if the child is inside of a car seat, that's kind of like a, a helmet wrapped around them. But that's the way that I think about it. Again, different people have different perspectives, but I got one back here and let's just check it out. So you can see this is a bike, more specifically an electric bike with the child seat on the back. Most people got a bike, just pretty simple, like add a child seat to it. What you have to keep in mind is if you combine the weight of the seat with the weight of the, the child or more or less the capacity of the seat, then you really have to consider whether the rack can accommodate it. Many racks, maybe they're only made for about 40 pounds. This particular rack here, I think it accommodates about 70 pounds, so that's no problem. But a lot of the common racks that come on bikes are not really made to carry this like 50, 60 pounds. But otherwise it works well and it's, some, it's a good 
thing to consider. While we're on the topic of safety, I wanna talk about a tool that I use to stay safe online, keep my data encrypted, and make sure that people don't have access to it when I don't want them to. It's called Surfshark VPN. I use this tool in a variety of different ways, but with my multiple shops, I end up traveling a lot and I have to use Wi-Fi and airports and coffee shops. It's always a little bit concerning, like is my data secure? If I log into my bank, is somebody else gonna also be logging into my bank? But I feel very confident when I'm using this tool. In case you don't know what VPN is, it's a virtual private network. And basically it keeps your data safe and secure by routing it through a third party server. When your device is connected to the internet, all your data is encrypted. And one of the cool things about Surfshark is that they don't even store your data. All they do is just let it pass through. So I've experimented with other VPNs in the past and I can confidently say this is one of the easiest ones to use. So I'm really happy that they signed signed on as a sponsor and they're helping us to create more content like this. Whatever the case may be, whether you're traveling internationally, one of the cool features is that you can actually switch what country that you're located. Certain tools that I use are only available in the US or I can watch certain shows on streaming networks when I'm not located in that country. So I encourage you to check out Surfshark VPN with the link in the description. If you use our promo code Propel, you get 83% off with additional three months for free on a yearly subscription which is pretty nice because it's pretty affordable already and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not happy with it so maybe you want to give it a shot you can add a trailer to your rear axle it goes behind you and it can carry one kid two kids and there actually are some really nice trailers out there some even have full suspension Burley has a couple offerings like that so definitely worthwhile checking that out but now I'm going to show you another type of bike a cargo bike made specifically to carry kids it's called the Riesen Mueller Multi-Tanker. This particular one happens to be electric assist. There are varieties out there that are not electric assist, but some of the benefits to, to this type is it's low down. So this has small wheels and a lot of times the cargo bikes have a lower center of gravity. One of the big challenges when you're carrying kids is if they're moving around and that sort of thing, it can make it difficult to really control the bike. So having a, the, the weight lower and ideally wherever possible centered over the wheels, that's really the best place to carry the kids and it's really gonna make the bike more stable and easier to handle. A couple features I wanted to show you that you'll generally find on cargo bikes are really helpful for safety and for carrying kids is one is bars like this. They give them a kind of space safe to be a space safe, a safe space to, you know, contain themselves in. Generally, they'll have some sort of padding, which can be used with one child seat and the pad or two or even potentially three kids on the one pad. So this I'd say is good for some of the kind of slightly older kids. So this bike can actually carry 140 pounds on the rear of it. I mean, there's some that can even go up to 200 pounds, but this can carry the child seats and you probably have childs like a little bit younger than one or, or one and up depending on their size, depending on their ability to hold their head up and different things like that. But I wouldn't say that you specifically put like a, a car seat in here. I prefer like this front bucket style bike uh, for that. You could put those child seats I was showing you before back here. You can actually put two of them. It's really made to carry kids. And for many families, it's an excellent alternative to using a car. There's bags that can go on here. You can put groceries or kids backpacks up there, whatever the case may be. And one thing to note when you're carrying a kid on something like this, you're always gonna wanna have some sort of wheel guards there is a certain danger for the kids to kind of put their feet in the spokes or something like that. The other detail is the kickstand. Having a double kickstand or more specifically a, a sturdy double kickstand really goes a long way. This is one of those areas that some other manufacturers, they might kind of skimp on that, but it's a feature that I highly recommend. It helps to improve the safety because it improves the stability of the bike when it's parked and not fall over or something like that. So I wanna show you another bike, but instead of carrying the kids on the back, it's gonna carry them in the front. So let me grab that. All right, well, this is actually my personal favorite bike. This is called the Riesen Mueller Load. As you see, it has a box up front. This is where you carry kids. This particular one is possible to carry two kids. They make a slightly longer version that can carry three kids. 
There's different names for this. There's a front loader, box feet, bucket bike, wherever possible you wanna have the weight centered over the wheels. And you can see this actually keeps your weight as well as the passenger's weight in between the two wheels. So it's really beneficial. It makes it really easy to handle. A lot of people are intimidated looking at a bike like this. Like, can I handle it? You'd be surprised. It's actually really easy to do. You kind of just hop on and, and go. You can see this is how it steers. So there's actually a bar from the steering mechanism here up to the front fork to control it that way. There are some other ones that might use a cable steering. One of the concerns is, is vibration or suspension. This bike actually happens to have full suspension. So it has rear suspension as well as front suspension. So it really can uh, reduce a lot of the vibrations, that sort of thing. There are also uh, child seat holders that have suspension in them and there's all sorts of different configurations of these types of bikes but it's also a different experience you can see the child in front of you when the child's in the back it's a little bit of a different experience but you know some people prefer to have more of that standard style bike sometimes it comes down to budget sometimes it comes down to you know being able to store the bike but it really varies right now this has this kind of rain cover on here and actually that's something that on the bike that i just showed you there's other similar styles that might have a rain cover turn makes one is the turn gsd they have a cover called the storm shield and it actually covers the children so you know this is something that comes up a lot i think people consider like what do i do in inclement weather so this you have the rain cover but i wanted to show you just kind of what it looks like inside of here if you were to take this off just a bit of an idea pull it off Actually, you probably can't see it so well from there, so why don't I just turn it around for you. But yeah, so you have two child seats. They both have five-point harnesses. This is actually something you might find commonly, particularly on some of the better-made cargo bikes. You could pretty easily put a car seat up front here. This style, Bakfeet, a name coming from the Netherlands. That's in, in Dutch, I guess, this kind of box bike. That's the name there. It's pretty popular there. The long tail bike is kind of a bit more popular in the U.S., I guess. Maybe people are not as comfortable with this kind of new form factor, but people are becoming more and more comfortable with it. One other option, I don't have anything to demonstrate here, but that's a trike. So that would be a three-wheeled bike. We work with one company in particular, Butchers and Bicycles. They have a three-wheel bike. It tilts, pretty awesome, really great for carrying two kids. It can be adjusted to make the springs a little bit stiffer. It could be better for maybe some people might have some balance issues. And there are some that don't have the suspension, but maybe you can't really ride them as fast. So one of the challenges with these three-wheel bikes that don't have suspension or don't have any sort of leaning or tilting mechanism to them, what happens happens is when you're going around a turn, it could be more likely to tip or to lose one of the wheels off the ground. So one of the cool things I saw in the Netherlands specifically is a three wheel trike that it's kind of like a school bus for kids. They carry, I think, six kids on the one bike. There are probably four wheel bikes as well, but not so common. And in the U.S., actually, a four wheeled bike is not really considered a bicycle, so you get into a tricky legal area there. But the scenarios and bikes that we discussed so far are probably the most popular ones for carrying kids, but it's by no means all of them. There's tandem bikes. There's solutions that you can carry a kid on a mountain bike. You mount a seat on the top tube and away you go. In the Netherlands, it seems like every bike is for carrying passengers. You see kids just sitting on front racks, on rear racks. Sure, some will say like, hey, that's not safe, but it's statistically proven that uh, they are pretty safe on their bikes. It really boils down to safe infrastructure, and that's something that I'm trying to advocate for more and more here in the U.S. so everyone can feel comfortable to get on a bike with or without their kids. There's loads of adaptive bikes and we actually made a video on that topic. So if you wanted to check that out and somebody has some different limitations, uh, maybe they're in a wheelchair, different things like that. Really, there's pretty much a solution for anybody. I'm hoping that this video kind of gave you some good ideas. Feel free if you have questions in the comments, I'll do my best to answer them. For those of you that may or may not know, we do have an e-bike shop. We actually have several of them. We're in New York. I'm in Delaware right now. We have another shop in Long Beach, California. We work with people all over the country. We'll be happy to help you in any way we can carrying your kids on the bike. I mean, I think it's a, a great way to get kids out there, have them experience the elements. I mean, she's sleeping right now. She can't really see the deer, but one day, right, baby? Snow White in the making. And actually like be part of this like movement of using bikes as transportation. I think for a lot of people, 
they leave that behind as soon as they have kids and and that's really unfortunate so we're happy to have helped many people make that change and we'd be happy to help you too or you know if we can so hope you enjoyed and uh we'll see you soon